Hello, I'm Peter and welcome to another of my short tutorials on post-processing. This time we're going to look at Content-Aware Fill, which is a feature of Adobe After Effects. It can be used for all sorts of useful things in videos, such as removing the logo from a sweater or a t-shirt. It can be used in the case that we're going to look at and learn how to do. It can be used for removing a shadow that has accidentally been captured during the recording of a video. So here's an example of the video before and after the shadow has been removed. So let's jump into After Effects and I'll show you how to do it. In After Effects, the first thing to do is to create a new composition and we can do that by using Control N on Windows or Command N on Mac. We'll call this one Shadow. And I'll set it to about seven seconds long, because I think that's the length of the video clip that we need to work on. So then I'll bring in the clip to be worked on. Just drag it straight onto the timeline. And I'll find the start of the area where we want to remove the shadow, because it's quite a heavy process and we really don't want to be working on more than is absolutely necessary. And I'll move the work area just right into that, to that point. And then I'll do the same for the end of that area and bring the work area end point in to where we want to finish. So just going back to the beginning, we now want to tell After Effects the part that has to be removed. So in order to do that, I'm going to select the layer that we want to work on. The reason for that is if we didn't have that area selected and used the pen tool, which is the method that I'm going to designate the shadow area with, it would create a new layer. We don't want that. We want to create a mask on the current layer. So with the current air layer selected, then I can click on the pen tool and simply map around the area that has to be removed. So I'm doing that and then you click back on the original part in order to close off the shape that is required. The mask is normally set is initially set to mode add and I just want to set it to none temporarily so that we can see the mask um, as it is in the context of the full picture. And what I want to do is make sure that this mask remains in the in the position of the shadow remains covering the shadow as we as it moves across the frame and to do that I'm going to click on the mask path stopwatch to make sure that it animates it then we can add keyframes as we move along so I'll just move over to two seconds and I see that we need to make some adjustments to the mask so I'm just moving the whole mask over a little bit and then if I use shift on one of those areas I can just adjust the shape of the mask a little bit which is what I'm doing now so just moving on to three seconds well we need to make quite a big adjustment to it here so good moving to four seconds now I move to the end and you see we need to move um, the mask quite a bit in the end section. So I'll just move these points around to make sure that it's covered. And I think with those keyframes introduced, you'll see that the mask will now nicely track the shadow as it moves across the screen. So that tells After Effects just what we want to remove. We need to change the mode of the mask then to subtract and now we're going to fill in that area that appears black on the screen. So moving over to the content aware fill area on the right hand side of the screen you can see a preview of the bit that's going to be removed. You can add some expansion um, to this if you want if you think you're maybe a little bit close to the shadow itself then I, I can add for example five pixels of expansion to that. There are several modes of operation here for content aware fill. One is for tracking an object 
Second one is for removing something from a surface. Now you might remove something from a surface where that piece that you want to remove remains stationary on the surface. For example, removing a logo from a t-shirt would be an example of that. But we want to remove something that is not stationary on the snow surface here. It is move, it's a shadow that's moving across it. So we'll use object in that, in that case. And so, Having chosen those options, we ask After Effects to generate the fill layer. You have to save the project first. This is quite a heavy processing activity, and you can see the progress down here on the bottom of the Content Aware Fill box as it moves across. So having done that now, After Effects does its best to fill in the area. And as we move through it, you can see that it has filled in really beautifully. So once you've done that, you can actually delete the mask that was there as we don't need it anymore unless you feel that there's a need to redo the content to where fill. So I'll just delete the mask and we can now play the video. It played it a little bit slowly there, distorting the music because it has to do still some of the processing. But maybe if you have a faster PC than mine, you won't notice that effect at all. So that's it. We're done. And we have removed the shadow from this particular video clip using After Effects Content Aware Fill. If you enjoyed this short tutorial, then please subscribe here and hit the bell so that you'll be notified of new videos as they are uploaded. I'll be posting a new tutorial each week so you'll build up your skills in Photoshop, Lightroom, After Effects and Premiere. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you next time.